but I'm sure I'll pay her back at some point. Once I pay her back for the house. Um, all right. No. Move. Move. Let's see what we got. That thing. Jesus, this is heavy. This is my power supply? It's the heaviest power supply ever. Wow. Look at that like pretty case. Is anyone else super stoked that the GPU market is finally coming down? Is it? That's nice. Finally, man. I had a dream that the stock market crashed and uh, dropped to like 5,000, the Dow. And then at the same time, Bitcoin was 50,000. And I was like, what the heck? That was my dream last night. something that's supposed to be kind of anti the market and everything like that runs pretty in parallel with the market. Market goes up, Bitcoin goes up. Market goes down, Bitcoin goes down. I'm like, wait a second. I and I am sucks? <laughs> what? This is like the best processor there is, I'm pretty sure right now. An i9-12900? 12, 12, One of the top ones. Uh. Uh. Oh, you're a Ryzen guy? Okay. Well, I'm not, so. Good to see the to heal. All good. Uh. in the past, but I don't know. Switched over to Intel at some point. Okay, how do we get this thing out? Uh, Since when was this a foot stream? Enjoying it? Do you like my disgusting broken toenail? Oh, I feel like I'm giving birth. Is this going to be enough to keep it cool? This thing better. This is like one of the best fans on the market, right? This costs more than birth? Not in America. Use those llama muscles. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Let's check her out. Case reveal. Ooh, sexy. What a beaut. Good for airflow. Join my army of the dead. You better get some nice close up shots savoring the peelies. It's a fractal. <laughs> oh, you want it? You want peelies? Oh, that didn't work well. That just peeled off the son of a gun. That's a terrible peel. All right, I need Gooby Gun for this. It's a terrible sticker. Ugh. Not a good start. All right, we'll deal with those later. All right, let's see what these things are. Join my army Instructions unclear. Glass smash. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll clean it later. The GPU is going to be the last thing we install because it's a 3070 and it's inside the computer that's currently streaming. I also have a 1080 Ti, but I'm probably going to put that in this one and then the 3070 in this one. Is this a rerun? No. All right, let's see. Torrent GPU bracket installation guide. Is that what these are? No, these aren't. What is this thing? Um, what are these long arms? Okay. For the these are for the far end of the GPU. Trying to look where the arms are. Optional steps, fans. It's not talking about them. That looks like them, kind of. Is this for possible water cooling? Oh, this might be for water cooling. Potentially. It says it's part 11. This says Torrent Fan Brackets, Front 120, 140 Fan Brackets. Okay, I guess it says on the box what it is. Should 
Should have just done that. Ugh. All right, so. Perfect. All right, let's remove the side panels. Oh, here's some good sticky. Oh, this is the good stuff. Oh, that's what it is. You don't even have to get rid of that other thing. You can literally just, oh yeah, oh. Oh, that felt so good. Oh my God. Whew. All right, now how do I remove the glass panel? I don't see any like Save this sticky for later. Remove the top panel. So much airflow, yeah, baby. I'm all about that airflow, man. The power supply goes in the top. Whoa, I've never had a power supply at the top before. That's why we have to remove it. This is where your power supply look goes. That's crazy. Ugh. I've always had it at the bottom. In like 10 computers I've built. Maybe not 10, maybe like six. <laughs> okay, this will have screws and stuff for us. can write all the parts down I can just like quickly put it into the, a little like window a lot of power cables perfect is this gonna fit it better Otherwise, Emroy is gonna get in trouble. Okay. All right, it fits. Emroy's Emroy's not punished yet. 
Just wait until you boot up this new PC and it says, my brother will not have died in vain. Truth. Okay, that should be all we need from that guy. Now, we do need to screw in over here. Um, why are these in weird locations? Oh, it wants me to go upside down? Interesting. Okay. Upside down it is. There's so many screws here. Which ones does it want me to use? They're not labeled. Um, you would think they would label the screws, but they chose not to. look good enough. We'll give them a try. If it doesn't work, then we move to the next ones. I mean, they fit. Works for me. Cards of thirty seventy. Hmm. Join my army of the dead. Don't forget. For PC building, you need minimum 75% lightning resist. <laughs> Colon closing parenthesis. Of course. Hey, let's just get all four screws in first. Am I sure a 3070 is going to be able to run Diablo Immortal? I don't know. I might need to get a 3090. Anybody got a 3090? They don't, they don't need any more. We'll trade Enigma for it. Ladder or non-ladder, up to you. Yeah, I'll just put it on Moo Girl's card. That's a good point. That's a good point. Get you a sugar mama chat. It's the best way to do it. <sighs> okay. Next, install the IO shield. The what? Huh? Where's my IO shield at? I guess in the Mobo box. Uh, I was thinking it would come with the case, but I guess not. I hope no one criticizes any parts choices. Uh, already happened multiple times, sorry. Um, okay, it's just attached. 
It's a built-in shield? Okay. Prepare the motherboard. Oh, it wants me to put all the stuff on the motherboard first. Okay, well, hold on. Let's... Put the motherboard back for a second. the mobo so you're saying this shield is is just built in so I don't need to remove it but there is a little bit of plastic here Prepare the motherboard. So where's our RAM at? Oh, no. Put the motherboard on the motherboard box. Then install the CPU, RAM M.2 drive and the cooler first. Afterwards put it into the case. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm supposed to put them in alternating, right? So I want to go into like uh, the two grays or the two blacks. Is it going to be the grays? Is the gray one, three? Two and four is what I want. I know what Now comes the scariest part of every single build. One of. Oh! God, I hate that. Nothing like crunching it into here and praying you have it the right way, man. Oh, okay, all right, we're, we're done with that part. One step down. I mean, there's still the CPU installation, which is also extremely scary, so. Okay. So now is CPU time. How do I get this thing out? This is so tightly jammed in here. What the heck? Use a hammer? It's a good idea, actually. I'll just 
get some tools. There we go. <laughs> Okay. What a beaut. Join my army of so is this whole thing the Here's CPU? some bits. Please use them to buy a table or something. <laughs> okay. Done with all that. All right. Now the second scariest part. Processor installation. Join my army of the dead. No RAM yet. No CPU yet. No motherboard yet. Just the cases fans. Looks like Mr. Llama is finally streaming only fans. Wow. Wait, what the heck kind of screwdriver does that need? What? Hold on, I'm so confused. What is that? Ugh. Well, it's telling me to unscrew it. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Okay, we don't unscrew that. Just the lever. I was just screwing with you guys. You're all so gullible. Okay. So gullible. Pull the lever! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's all good there. Okay, now. Wait, did they not give me cooling paste? Is it pre-pasted? No. Mm -hmm. I guess so. Oh, the CPU cooler has it. Got it. Okay. So that'll be good. Join my All right. Now. Don't forget to brush your teeth with the thermal paste for best performance. Triangle goes where? This is the question. This is a very bad diagram, actually. Ugh. Where's the other triangle? Oops. Y'all see the other triangle? I'm guessing it faces this way. Did I remove this thingy yet? Zoom us in. <laughs> I don't want to guess on this part. I just, I don't see it. I'm blind maybe. Corner of the black socket. What? There's a notch on the motherboard. I don't see it. I'm going to keep looking. It looks like down here 
Yeah? This is where I'm going to put the, the triangle. Right here. As such. No, don't like it. The problem is. Join my army of the dead. This is some Karen Stone stuff right here. It's on Go the see motherboard. Akara. Where the heck? Oh, they're on the motherboard. Okay. It's like hidden back there. My gosh. Now that, that's hard to see, man. That's not a good place to put it. Okay. Now it says we remove this bad boy. Why won't it remove? Will it remove by itself? Yeah, I'm trying to pop the cover off. This needs to be unscrewed now. It'll pop it off on its own. I don't think so, you guys. I mean, this isn't even like close to underneath it. Like that's not, that's not getting anything in there, you know? <laughs> Cause this isn't, this isn't sitting there. I mean, this is definitely secured where it needs to be. CPU is good. The problem is this needs to go down further so the lever will actually go on top of it. Otherwise, right now, nothing is happening because it's not under. So we got to... There we go. Yeah, we just needed to remove this thing. Perfect. Easy. Yeah, that needed to come off first. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Now, uh, let's get our fan. Give yourselves the clap, everybody. You did it. Okay. We'll just balance more things precariously on the edges of the case, as always. Put 
the M2 in now? Oh. Okay. Yeah, the giant fan, honestly, is such a pain in the butt. Yo, thank you, Dread. All right. Oops. Okay, where does the M2 go? I feel like they, they're so delicately in there. Installation guide. Screws for fixing this are not included. What? Why wouldn't they give us the... the... It's messed up. Let's go searching for it. Uh huh. Should be like a little thing. I just like, boop, boop, you know, plug it in. Uh huh. Remove cover. This cover? Oh, this says M2 right here. Perfect. That's nice, they labeled it for us. Ooh, it's got a little sticky stick. Okay. Now I'm guessing this side is up. And we're just going into this bad boy. Nope, other side is up. <laughs> Perfect. And now I guess we can just put this back on top. We took the sticker off the shield cover. Ugh. No? I have to screw it in first? I don't think so. Oh, maybe you're right. I'll get one of these little flat screws I have in here somewhere. Well, I was going to screw the shield down. Alright, let me look at all the screws I have again. Those are not them. These are tiny. Let's try one of the, oh man, that's super tiny though. I don't know if I have any screws that small. Those are big honkers. All these came with the MOBO though. Huh. I'm gonna try one of these and we'll see how it goes.
Let's see if this is small enough. Don't believe so. No. Like even that is too big? That's tiny. Sure, that's the smallest screw they gave me, man. I mean, these are very small, but they're even wider, so that's not the right size. No. Hmm. Yeah, there was the screw, this screw, but this screw I was using for the shield. Unless, I'm supposed to put that as well. Because it, it came with that little tiny one, which is, I'm pretty sure, what I need. There's not a screw already in there. Unfortunately. Moo. It says M2 screws are included. It should be in the MOBO box. I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got everything out of that box. Okay, so it's not this. Oh, wait, hold on. These are from the power supply, right? No. Yes. So I need to go into the MOBO box again, maybe. Uh, there's no static anywhere here. Join my army. Just recapitulate the servo bearings to the panometric ion drive and tether the modal insulated Hertz diode and is. you're just the tuning of the flux rectifier away from having a functional PC. It was in the MOBO box. Nobody could have ever guessed it. Nobody could have known. Perfect, and now we'll put the shield in. Building a PC is just playing with Legos. Exactly. Okay, so now the M2 is installed. Whew. Yeah, I'm just used to being on my knees, exactly.
Uh-huh. Now we have to install fan. They're slightly more expensive than normal Legos, but I mean, Legos are already pretty expensive, so. Honestly, probably a similar cost. that we already have. Call it good. Alright, Noctua. So. Required mounting parts. This thing. Wait, this is AMD. Is this for, yeah. Okay, this thing, two of the bars. Really need to get these screws all organized. Way too many of them. Some blue caps. I only see the blue spacers. Those things. The screws. Uh, there's the black caps. And I guess some white, or those are gray. Here's the black ones. Black spacers and those screws. Okay, so we don't really need the white and gray, I guess. How much does this new computer cost? I don't know. Amroy, how much does this computer cost? Probably like what, three grand? Moo Girl bought it, you know, we're good. 16, 18, without the, without the GPU though. Okay, so, uh, okay. Setting up the backplate. First, identify the side of the backplate that should face the motherboard, marked with caution signs. Okay. Choose the appropriate hole spacing for your socket and insert the four bolts. Moo girl is an IT girl, yeah. Drop the parts all over the floor, and that'll be good. Oh, don't go under there. I need you. Hole position one and hole position two. Well, I don't know. LGA seventeen hundred is hole position two. Hole position two is the far one. Got it. Feels like it just kind of slides between one and two, though. I'm not sure I'm understanding this. Oh, once I get the clippers, then it, okay. Should be which way the clippers face. Okay, so this goes like this, and then I guess I just clip it in and hold it that way. Perfect. That's one. Two, three, 
three. And last one, hold position two. Four. Cool. Now we attach the back plate. It will install over the motherboard's stock back plate. So the motherboard stock back plate must not be taken off. Wait, did we get a stock back plate from the motherboard? Where's that at? Ugh. What do you mean it's already on there? I don't see any back plate right here. Underneath. <sighs> Whoa, it's on the back. So it's that thing. Well, they're making it seem like it's on the front. Oh, wait, no, because I'm uninstalling through the back. Gotcha. So let's go through the back and put that down. Oh no, don't drop pieces. I haven't built a PC in a few years, honestly. All right, so Blah, blah, blah. Please choose the correct set of plastic spacers and the correct set of holes. And the blue spacers. So we want the blue spacers here. I'm guessing they just go on this. Position one and two. Wait, what? Ah, got it. So that's why we want these, I guess. Okay. And the correct set of holes on the mounting bars. Uh, I don't think there's a plastic film on the heat heat sink that needs to be removed. Ugh. Use hole position, okay, so we want hole position two. So we want this, and then here. Ugh. Well, that's in hole position one. And three. Let me lift it. Go for two and two. Okay, two and two. Perfect. And two and two. Great. Okay. And now we need. those, these things. Ugh. Yeah, trying to get Moo Girl to stream. She says, no, thank you. Okay. Ugh.
Okay. Curved parts are facing outwards. Oh, I guess I didn't decide on the orientation of the cooler. I wonder if the cooler needs to go this way because of this right here. I hope not. All right. Okay, now thermal paste. If there are residual traces of thermal pads on your CPU, please come in and apply this applied. Da, 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 da. Apply five small dots, four dots with a two millimeter diameter near the corners and one dot with three to four in the center for the 1700. Interesting. Okay, where's the thermal paste? That is the fan, not there. Ah, there we are, in our little tube. way too much. Okay. <laughs> it came out so sharp. Is there a better dispenser in here? Man. Terrible. Alright, we'll just wipe it for now. Alright, here we go. We'll do a little dot. Oh my gosh, it's just coming out like a madman. I'm trying to blob it, it's just like craziness. Okay, one little dot in the corner. Second little dot in the corner over here. Third little dot in the corner. And giant blob in middle. Doesn't seem horrible. You don't think that's enough? It's a pretty good amount. Yeah, you don't want too much. There could be a tiny bit more over in this corner and this one. And this one. Join my army. I was wrong before. This is the Cairn Stone stuff. Better go kill Treehead. <laughs> Please first take off the center fan as well as the protection cover at the bottom, uh, bottom of the heatsink. It's not going to cover the corners. All right, we'll do a little bit more and we'll go a little more X pattern for you guys. Uh, 
Better? It was probably fine. First, take out the center fan as well as the protection cover on the bottom of the heat sink. So protection cover is off. So I need to take off the fan first. Wait, why? There's no plastic there. That is, I'm pretty sure, plastic free. It had a plastic hard thing on it. So take out the fan. No, this is the proper direction. Because these things got to screw in. I think you're going to need a bigger fan. Yeah, we're just building a new one. Also, I lost my credit card, so I used yours to purchase all the parts for this. Yeah. But I'll pay you back at some point. I'll put it on the go. Okay. On the tab, I need. Thank you. Meanwhile, you told me any purchases over 500 I had to talk to you about first. Well, this was an emergency. <laughs> um, I'm going to go get Darcy. Okay. It's like sunny out. Oh, so, I thought it was supposed to be stormy. Yeah, I know. Everybody was talking about really bad weather. Yeah. But. Okay, we'll go get her before it does storm. I mean, it did rain a little bit. Yeah. It's going to be bad traffic. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Whew. Okay. How big is my tab? Ah, who keeps track of that? It's storming here in Houston. Storm in Houston? Yeah. Uh, okay. Perfect. Now we just put the fan in. Let's see, which way do I want this to face? 
There's my fan. Over there, so this way. Did I break this? Why is it no longer like... Oh. Greetings to Moo Girl. You okay? Why won't it stick in like it did before? Before it was so hard to get out. Did I break it? I know I clip it into the fan grills, it's just like now it's it's just like broken, you know. It doesn't it's like too easy to get out. Whatever, it holds. I mean, it's not wrong way around because it'll plug in right there. No, that's the right way up. Because this is, if you look at the front, this would be facing upwards, right? Rotate the heat sink. You can have it either direction. Supply is at the top of the Ooh. case and fans are at the baby. bottom of the Less case. Than three. Visualize the airflow. Well, I don't know which way is the air going. Honestly, there's vents every single side of this case, so. I mean, honestly, which way is this heat blowing out? It's going out this way and this way. So it is blowing towards the, the card, but then this will blow towards... Oh, it should be fine. Should be an air on the side of the fan showing which way it blows air. It says it blows air like this. So which way? Do I want the air blowing this way then? 
So I'll just install like that then. So now the air blows towards the camera. And then, and not towards the uh, GPU. I want the air blowing this way. Here's our case. Our case has all opening on the back. The top is solid. The bottom is all fans and the front is all fans. So, honestly, it seems like it can go anywhere. Join my army of the dead. But Ideally, you'd want front to back, rather than up from hot GPU and then up to a hot PSU. Yeah, because I guess right now this is blowing towards the GPU, right? So that's probably, or towards the power supply. So that's probably not great. So I can either blow down towards the, yeah, power supply is at the top. That probably means I do want to rotate all of this, doesn't it? Son of a gun. All right. Ugh. I have to rotate the whole thing. Thanks a lot, chat. Making me wait forever to figure it out. We can take a look at how the pace spread. It's hard for you guys to see. That's still hard to see. So just a little bit in the two centers. Did you leave the sticker on the screwdriver so you can return it to the store when you are done with the build? it and redo it. Though I didn't heat it at all, so it's still probably okay, minus some air bubbles. Make sure we go two and two. Do 
two, two, two. Moo? Oh, I definitely know what's happening here. Hi, yes, yes. Very interesting. I kind of do want to wipe it and reapply. Just because I have to turn the fan now. Don't have any alcohol though. Just have a little wiper. Or we can just add a tiny, a couple tiny dots to where it's empty. A little dab. That was a very tiny amount, Chuck. Where did I put my screwdriver? Uh, Chad, y'all see the screwdriver anywhere? Next to chat. As you start screwing it on one side, it instantly just locks down over there. Perfect. Okay, so now I want to blow front to back, right? So I'm going to blow that way. So we'll go like this. Just like wiping, exactly. Then it says if you want to optionally install a second fan, you can. I mean, if we 
got another fan, why not, right? Wait, where's my uh, brackets for it, though? Yeah, and it's got a splitter right here as well. So we can run both fans off of one. That's nice. Okay, so if we're gonna go that way, then we want like this. Where's this going? Oh. Goes around and in. And again, this way. so much tighter. Okay. That's way too high. I guess it'll have to be a little bit higher because the RAM. Hey Llama, Long Tim YouTube Watcher, Long Tim Twitch Watcher, Long Tim Troll here. Now when setting up your new components for optimal MVS performance, uh -huh. don't forget the most important step, which is to... Right, thank you so much for the help. I can always count on you. Okay, so now both fans are there. Not like that? What do you mean not like that? That's what it says. That's what it says to do. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. How does he cool this rig? Only fans. Oh, there's noise adapters too. What in the world? Only fans. It's cute. Never seen those before. Don't use the noise adapters? Son of a gun. I wanted to use them, I've never used them before. Okay. Okay. CPU fan. Okay. And one fan. Yeah, why would I need space for RAM modules? If I ever need to get to the RAM, I'll just take these off and then we'll be good. All right. I think we're done installing the motherboard, right? Well, I mean, it's preparing the motherboard, I should say. Now to install it. Okay. So let's see. 
Do I need to put anything down first? I need to put the spacer dudes down, right? Where are the standoffs? Here's three standoffs. I feel like there should be more than three. Those are not standoffs. Oh, they're pre-installed. So I don't have to do anything. Spare parts? Just throw them in the case right at the end for good measure. Okay. Now... I really wish it labeled what these parts were, you know? That would have been nice. Okay, it's one of these, not those. These are very tiny, and I feel like I remember them just being so tiny. So I'm gonna go with those. I feel like this is where I always drop like 12 of them. Hate everything. They've got seating screws already in there. Did I remember a thermal paste? What do I look like, a, a scrub? Okay, I think so. Chat told me I can just spit on it and that'll work. Where does the floppy drive go in this build? <laughs> Of course I put the thermal paste in the RAM slot. Like everybody does, right?
<sighs> Join my army of the dead. Okay, Llama, what have you done wrong? Why am I getting pinged at work saying you need step by step guides? What? I don't need step by step guides. I've not done anything wrong. Okay. Beautiful. How is this not done? We're taking our time and enjoying the experience. My goodness. You ever have fun in your life? Typical. The CPU fans were fine. We just decided to adjust it slightly. Connecting cables. Join my army of the dead. So did anyone else's parents make them do test out IT courses at home when they were a kid? No, just me then. <laughs> I'm guessing this piece comes off, or where are these connecting at? Oh wait, these are already connected to... Where? Down here? No, those are the fans. Where are these coming out from? Uh-oh. Something ended up in there. RGB chat, don't worry. Um, I'm guessing these are all fan. Sys fan one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Bring the case up. There's a bunch of cables back here. slots on the back of this thing as well. God. 
There's literally like nine fan slots back here. Just only fans here. Nothing else. Wild. You can go down through there. And into here as well. Perfect. Okay, so I think that's the two front fans. Top mounted P PSU is interesting. Like I said I haven't I haven't done that before. Is this another fan? Oh my god, it's another fan. I don't even know what fan I'm plugging in anymore. Just whatever fan's there. things through. CPUs before, but I always ran into like weird issues with them. So eventually I just got tired of them. I, I never did have Verizon, this is true. I, I bounced off of AMD prior to Ryzen. Lama stands back perplexed as his whole PC appears to be one big fan. He looks in the GPU box and finds only a large fan. He goes to tell Moo Girl, but she is also a fan. He screams but makes only a whooshing sounds. His mouth is a fan. This does sound like my nightmare. Okay. So that's audio. Um, I mean, I pushed a bunch more of these through. Where are they? Where are all the cables at? Okay. This bad boy. I feel like I need more lengths. Maybe we'll just do this from the side. Okay, so those are all these cables and they're all running down. 
I mean, I feel like that's just their length. They're just like not much longer. Okay, so audio. This guy is which guy? The 3.0. So that needs to go up there. So this should come out and go through, whoopsies, right here. Okay. So that goes there. I still don't know where this thing goes. Ah, there it is. This is the USB 3.2. Look at that shirt. You buy a shirt like that, it should come with a bowl of soup. Oh, <laughs> it looks good on you though. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, okay, so this. goes up here. Perfect. Okay, now Reset and all of that stuff or power, power, power LED. That's going to go where? There's LED. It looks like down at the bottom.
Okay, so we see D LED one, LED C one. Demo, where does power go though? Uh, where does power go, you guys? Of the little tiny power with the LED attachments. Join my army of the dead. Congratulations, Llama. You are now a Dell certified level 3 support technician. <laughs> Here is your badge and your gun. see it. All right, chat. You're saying for the power, power LED, plus and minus, it goes in the F panel? Where? There's so many slots there. Ugh. I mean, I know it's front panel, but there's like 5 million slots. Okay, let's check the front panel. All right, front panel. Oh, yeah, you guys are right. We just got to check this and it'll give us all the... All right, shut up, chat. My goodness, acting like you know everything. Front panel connector is 2x5 pins, one missing, two each for power switch, reset switch, power LED, hard drive activity LED, and then a spare 5 volt DC for some reason. Okay, now the better question is... Which way is the positive and which way is the negative on the power switch? Power switch doesn't matter? Join my army. Okay. You're I see kidding, the arrow, right? but... Power switch is a switch. It's not direction. Well, it says positive and negative on it. Don't 
look at me like that. Oh, those are just more power LEDs over there. Got it. Tell them to not put positive and negative then if they don't want me to question it. You know? It's their fault. Okay, positive, negative, and power switch. Perfect, all right, so that's connected. So now, I was looking for that. What else needs to be connected? This guy is the reset switch. That just goes below the power. And what else is down here? got all those things connected. Reset, power, USB 3.1, USB 3.0, and audio. Yes. Now I've connected 19 fans, so that's done. This power supply needs to be connected. Join my army of the dead. Chat said the case looks sick. You should take it to a doctor. <laughs> ha ha ha. God. Okay. So, SATA. This guy needs to connect to... just power. Uh, this looks like it's not going to be a SATA. I don't see a connection. says main four pin PWM CPU fan RPM value reported to motherboard. So I'm guessing that's the CPU giant fan.
Okay, install the graphics card. We'll do that later. Install a three and a half drive, two and a half drive. We can do those things later. Wait, I still need to attach the power to everything, don't I? Why does it not have me doing that? Align front panel, remove fans and cover plate, install fans. Oh, this is if you want to do something else. Optional Ooh. steps. Go llama. For changing your fans, I guess. Reservoir. Okay. All right, whatever. All right. Let's provide power to everything, I guess, shall we? So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. So this probably is what we jam into there for motherboard power. not going in, why not? Wait. Square, square. I think it should go like this. I'm not sure I have to power anything else because my GPU is not. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's that thing. Mm -hmm. So we just need a graphics card now. And then. Probably good. I mean, the motherboard, oh wait, there's some power over there. I probably need to connect into that, huh? CPU is just these eight. I'm guessing they go right there. Because I don't see any other cables. There's also a little four cable next to this. Should be an eight pin. Yeah, then there's a four pin right next to it. I don't know what that four pin is. Just additional power? Okay. Join my army of the dead. The four pin is the same as the eight pin. 
The CPU-8 bin breaks apart into two four-pin blocks. This is a pain in the butt to plug in. Oh my God, get in there. I'm just mashing it at this point. Oh, I can't see anything. Lay down, baby girl. Uh. Really interesting. Oh, it's the stupid fan is so big. You better keep this CPU cool for life with how annoying you are. Oh, we got it. Oh. Okay. Whew. We got it. Okay. And then plug in. Did I plug the wrong side in? Oh my God, I plugged the wrong side in. Oh my God. No! Uh, awful. How did you manage to plug in a keyed connector the wrong way? Also, I'm not wasting more bits, so I hope you don't have any further issues. What's the CPU OPT? I guess I should read that. Hey Llama, nice knock to a cooler. Be aware though, the manufacturer recommends fully disassembling it every 30 days to clean the radiator. Have fun. Opt, water cooling, okay. Oh, there's my SATA connectors, perfect. Man, I used to use so many SATA connectors. Nowadays, it's like you don't even use them. All right, I guess that's it. Like I say, just the GPU just left, really. And that's in the computer you guys are in. Did I get the extra four pin EPS power? If I have a four pin, that's a six pin, that's 
a six pin. No. Cable management, these cables are managed. The computer we are in. Universe of simulation confirmed. Everyone Zeus, panic. thank you. Moo. I definitely want the eight plus four. I mean, I don't think I have a, a four. Because it would just be a 4-4, four, four, right? Or is it a 6 to a 4? This is... Oh, hold up. This one might be able to break apart. Okay. So this is an eight to a four. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you think I should plug it for real? Don't want to hurt it. Hmm. Where should I plug it in up top, though? Ah, uh, there's a PCIe CPU there. Plug it in there. Ooh. Koloku gifted a tier one sub to Zeus underscore one. They have given 43 gift subs in the channel. Gonna be a tight fit, you can say that again. Get in there, buddy. Get. Get. Come on now. disk reader. I don't know if I'll plug it in though. y'all can think of before we close this bad boy up and well I guess I have to steal the GPU from you guys so all right I'm gonna end stream and steal the, the GPU Pose. Oh. No, nah, I'll just have to copy everything over and actually maybe I should steal the CPU Finish with Sork Windows on it. Oh. Is Windows 11 out yet? Don't do it.
wait a little bit. Oh, my knees. Any fan header built into the case, otherwise run the two, you can. I'm not getting the M2 out. It's buried under everything. Whew. All right. Why is my big toenail so gross? It got destroyed. So it's dead. Um, well, I don't know which one to do. Windows 11 or 10? <sighs> I can't use 10. Why can I not use 10? I'm pretty sure everything would be compatible with 10. But 11 will be better for the 12th gen. That is true. All right. All right, guys, I am going to end stream as I am going to fix or get the GPU out and swap everything around and get this thing working. Thanks for all your help. I appreciate it. If it doesn't turn on and there's issues, I might come back on and ask you guys if we uh, run into too much stuff. But otherwise, thanks for being here. Have a uh, great rest of your day, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you guys later. Appreciate the help. Thanks, guys. Peace.